everyone, it's Lisa here. This is just a quick tutorial on how to use the free noise texture in Adobe Illustrator. It's free to all my subscribers, which you can find in the treasure trove. If you are not a subscriber yet, just hop over to lisaglance.com and sign up to get access to all the goodies in the treasure trove. Okay, so to get started, I created a template that you are welcome to use as is. Um, it's a square, so um, let, let's just have a look at the size. It's also 300 by 300 mils. And um, because it's a vector, you are able to increase and decrease to whatever size without losing resolution. So when you open up the Illustrator template, you'll notice in the Layers panel, it's very important to bring that up, if you don't have that up, just go over to Windows and Layers. And you'll see I've already created a couple of layers for you just to make it easy for you to actually use the template. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is using the template as is and just popping your own design in the design layer. So I'm going to go over to another document where I've created some flowers and copy those over. Make sure I'm on the design layer. I'm going to go ahead and actually delete that and paste in the design layer. And that's it. You can either leave it as is, and of course you're welcome to change the background color just by selecting the actual box that I created for you. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and probably leave it as it is. <laughs> okay, so um, the next thing I want to show you is what if we actually want to adjust the noise if we find that it's either too much or too little. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock these layers. First, just the noise layer. Expand that in the layers panel and you'll see what I've done is I've actually marked them uh, what they are. So the dark layer will be those little dark bits that you see there and the light layer will be the lighter color. Let's just come out. Okay, so if we expand our transparency layer and we select dark, you'll notice that it's on multiply and at the moment the opacity is 5% because it's actually a black color. So that's why it's actually very low because we don't want it too strong. If we took it up, I'll show you, to 15, you'll see it's actually a little bit too much. So I'm going to bring it back down to 5. And for the light, the same applies. Um, it's about 13%. I haven't got it on any uh, blending mode at the moment because I, I believe it doesn't need to have. Um, we've just literally brought down the opacity of the white. So let me just take it up to show you and you'll see that that's obviously too much. So I'm going to keep it at 15. But here you can basically uh, play around with values and the blending options for you. Another thing I wanted to show you, because this is actually, I forgot to mention, this is actually a pattern that I created. It's a seamless pattern. So what that means is you can actually increase or decrease the size of the noise. And by doing that, we're just going to select that by using our direct select tool here in the layers panel. And then we're going to come over to object, transform, scale. And I'll make sure that the transform object is, is clicked off. And here we can manipulate the size of the grain. In this instance, let's take it up. Actually, I prefer it down. Let's go 70% and click OK. And the same would apply to the lights. Go to Object, Transform, Scale. And the Transform object is off. If I had that on, it's obviously going to transform the entire uh, bounding box, which we don't want. And maybe we're going to actually bring that up a dash. Let's do that. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and lock that. And the reason why I keep locking and unlocking the layer, if, if I want to actually change my illustration and the noise layer was unlocked, what's going to happen is going to continuously select that. So we want to just go ahead and unlock that noise layer. Okay, so we're going to move on to the speckles. The same thing applies with the speckles. You'll see that they are actually, it's a swatch. Let's just select the light. You'll see here it's a swatch in your swatches panel. Again, it's a seamless pattern and you can increase that or decrease that. I'm going to take that down to maybe 60 
because it's white um, and the little dots are so small you probably won't see it so I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel that but just zoom in to show you and you'll see the same with the dark that's one of the little dark spots okay so that gives you an overview of how you can manipulate the template and actually customize it to your drawing so the next thing I want to show you is what if you want to apply that noise to one of your own documents that you've created well that's pretty easy Okay, so I've created two, um, a document that has two different colors and I want to actually bring it into the mustard drawing that I have on, on the side here. So all I need to do is unlock the noise layer. I'm going to go ahead and actually select that entire layer and what it's done is actually selected both. Just make sure that that has happened. And then I'm going to copy, which is edit, copy, come over to my working document. And now very important I'm going to turn on paste remembers layers so what that happened what that does is um, every time you paste now it's going to actually remember and recall all the layers that you brought it in from it's going to bring in the layer named and it's going to be in the order that you want it so I'm going to go ahead and paste that and you'll see it's created a new layer which is taking a while obviously because there's a lot going on and it's got the two um, bounding boxes with the seamless patterns already um, you know filled okay so what we're gonna do now is actually resize that because obviously it's not the right shape so I'm gonna move those to the side and I'm gonna select the background and I'm gonna copy it which is command C and then I'm going to paste in front, which is Command F, and actually move that up using my Layers panel to the noise, uh, the noise layer. Okay. Then we're just simply going to move the one over the other, so we can just see them, the two of them. I know you can barely see it on the pasteboard, but it's there. And if you can, I'll zoom in just to show you. We're going to select that rectangle and we're going to use our eyedropper tool which is I on your keyboard and we're just simply going to select that um, seamless pattern and what it's done is it's remembered all the opacity and the blending mode for you so you don't have to think and do it all again which is great and then we're going to do the same with the dark so I'm actually going to rename that just so I don't get confused light we're going to paste in front again because that still should be on your clipping um, your clipboard Bring that back up to the noise layer using your eyedropper tool we're going to select the dark and rename that now we can go ahead and actually delete these that we don't need and that's it it's brought everything in and it's applied the seamless patterns i hope that was helpful and i hope you enjoy using the noise textures thanks for watching